Welcome to The Checkout. We catch up with previous Add to Cart guests and ask them five quick questions to get to know them better and leave you with a little extra inspiration to get you through your Friday. Today's Checkout features Gemma Crow, owner and director of Infamous Swim, an Australian label for women who want to feel empowered in their swimwear no matter what stage of life they are at. With striking prints and options for matching the whole family, the company has grown from a $10,000 investment to $14 million in annual turnover and counting. Gemma, welcome to the checkout. We, uh, I enjoyed our chat around what you've built so far with Infamous Swim and all the exciting things coming up. We're here to learn a little bit more about you. <laughs> so five quick questions. Number one, what's the weirdest thing that you've ever bought online? I buy so much online. The weirdest thing would have to be, it's called a car. It breaks your windows if you go into the water with your car. <laughs> that sounds really odd. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From a safety perspective so yes. you can get out. So I just have a fear of going into the water with my car, but not even that we really pass any dams with my car. That sounds so strange. But, I mean, you know, we drive to Achuka every weekend and there's not any dams that I could possibly go into, but still, I don't know. How much? 50 bucks for peace of mind? Happy yeah, days. I think it was like, no, nah, 20 I think it was like 24 bucks. It's a little, it's a little thing like this and it's like it touches the glass window and it breaks the window. Yeah, like the ones on buses. Yes. The break yes, glass. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that's a good investment. That's probably the weirdest thing that I bought, but I buy everything and it's really probably a bit like my friends are like, honestly, you could have just gone to the shops to get that. And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't have the time. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that leads me to number two. Who is your favorite retailer? Or now this is an easy one. I love De Cuba. De Cuba. I love Tanya. I love everything that she's about. I think she's done an epic job, De Cuba, and I buy her stuff obsessively. When I can get into store, I do, and I buy everything as well. But yeah, online's my jam for De Cuba for sure. Yeah, great one. Number three, which e-commerce practice do you wish was history? <laughs> Slow shipping in Australia. Mm. Yeah. I think it's time for somebody else to play in that space. Come on, let's get the Ubers of the of postal space going. You think it's crackable, profitably? I think it could be. I mean, it's not something that, you know, I know a lot about, but I've heard of a few people trying something new. So just watch this space, I think. Yeah, it is an interesting space. There's a lot of people trying, you know, slightly varied approaches on how to crack it. So someone's bound to do it. Yes. All right, number four, can you recommend a book or a podcast that our listeners should immediately get into? Okay, I listen to quite a few podcasts. One that really resonated for me actually was a Frankie Lee podcast with Ash White from Hera Jeans over in the UK. Yeah, so he was just talking about the dark side of e-com, which was, you know, selling and investors and stuff, which is kind of where I am right now. And I listened to that one. I was like, ooh, yeah. Like he took some hard hits there. So if that's the space that you're in right now, that's a good listen. Brilliant. We'll add a link into the show notes for that one. Yeah, cool. Last one I have for you. Finish this sentence. The future of retail is? Faster shipping. (laughs) 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 I think, look, there's a lot of people saying that AI is coming. Like I even was at the Smart 50 like a war company awards late last year and I got speaking to a few people and their AI seems to be something really big that's going on at the moment. So I'm interested to see how it can play in different spaces. That's right. Yeah, it's obviously got huge potential. So did blockchain 12 months ago. Um, So it'll be interesting to see if it's one that sticks around actually gets implemented on the day-to-day. Yep, for sure. Gemma, thank you so much for joining us on The Checkout. Thanks so much. Cheers, mate. To hear more from Gemma, jump back into episode 284, where Gemma shares the reason that she wanted to make swimwear for all bodies. It's a really compelling personal story that really sums up why she started Infamous Swim. She also shares the disasters her business has come through over the years, really honestly, and how relationships will always be the most important thing for her when making big business decisions. Thanks for listening, and until next time, keep adding to cart.